Welcome. In front of me is an Asus ROG Phone 3, and today I'll show you how to record the screen on this phone. So, to get started, we want to pull down the notification panel, and from here, look for the screen recording toggle, which should be somewhere. Oh, there it is for me. So, once you find it, you want to hold it, and this will take us to the settings where we can actually change a little bit how it records. So number one, we have the resolution. Uh, now, I do advise you to keep it at 1080p. Uh, you could technically drop it to 720p uh, if you really want to keep it uh, in, in si like reduced in size, but it's just gonna look a little bit worse than 1080p. Then we have quality. You have medium, high, and low. Uh, obviously, I'm just gonna stick with the highest possible option. So for me, I'm gonna go with high. Uh, the higher the quality you choose, uh, the better the video will actually look like. Then we have storage location now. Uh, there is only internal storage, so I'm not sure why it's giving us another like a pop up just to choose another one because I believe there is no SD card uh, expansion here. Uh, orientation you can keep it uh, on auto if you want to, or set it to be locked to a specific orientation if you want to. Uh, record audio will allow you to uh, record either your microphone or internal audio or none. Now, keep in mind that if you're recording audio through microphone, for instance, and your sound is going through speakers, uh, that will also pick up the internal audio in a way, uh, just more, way more degraded quality of it. Uh, but because microphone will hear it as well, it's gonna re well, record the phone sound as well. Now, if you pick the internal audio, it will directly record it from the system and making it a higher quality, but you won't have microphone. And also you have the none option, so if you don't want audio at all, you can disable it. Uh, content before recording, yeah, kind of explanatory, just choose which phone you want. And from here we have uh, start recording immediately when screen recording is turned off. Hmm, not really sure how that would work. Start recording immediately when screen recording is turned on. That kind of defeats the purpose of this one in this case. Okay. Um, then we have a couple additional options right here, like show touches, uh, black overall overlay notifications, and uh, stop recording uh, for incoming calls. So basically, when you have some kind of call, it will pause the video or stop it completely. Uh, then black over overlay notifications, obviously self-explanatory. If you have some notification, it just won't show on the recording. And also the uh, show touches. Whenever you touch the display to do anything, it will show this semi-transparent gray dot uh, to signify where your finger was touching on the display. So once all that is set, let's leave it and go back to the toggle and simply tap on it. There we go. Uh, so let's allow, allow, allow. We'll start the countdown and then start recording. And once you're done, tap on stop right here. This will save the video in your gallery application. So let's look for it. There we go. And there we go. That's basically it. So that is how you record videos on this phone. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.